my goodness! Oh my goodness, look! It's a little baby marbled salamander! Oh my goodness! Hey guys, I'm Zachary Gray, and today we're going to be out here looking for some animals. It is about to start raining, so we've got a little bit of a time crunch, but this is actually the best time to find animals out here. They love the rain. Reptiles and mammals, all of them love the rain, so we got to find some animals quickly today. Let's go. Oh, there's a little lobber. Oh, look at it. That is a Texas lobber grasshopper. Look at that. Oh, he's so pretty. Look at all those cool little colors on him. Now, you're actually going to see a lot of these guys this time of year because they don't have too many predators. And that is because they are poisonous. Texas lobbers are poisonous and they taste horrible. Absolutely nasty to anything that would try to eat them. Now, another reason that these guys are pretty unappetizing to anything that would normally eat grasshoppers is they are covered in all kinds of little spikes. They are absolutely covered in spikes. So, nothing would really want to try to eat a Texas lobber. But wow, that is such a pretty grasshopper. Got pink and yellow, and a lot of them are black and dark red. They have all kinds of different amazing colors for these grasshoppers. Well, that's awesome. All right, let's keep looking for stuff. Watch him jump. Boop. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, look! It's a little baby marbled salamander! Oh my goodness! Look at that! Look at that, he's so cute and fat! This is my favorite salamander ever! Oh my goodness, look at him! All right, I'm gonna get some water and wash him up and uh, we're gonna film him, this is amazing! I am super excited about this, guys. This is a little baby marbled salamander. Look at how cute he is. That is amazing. Now, a few weeks ago, we actually filmed with a three-line salamander. And like I told you guys, that was a lungless salamander. But marbled salamanders are mole salamanders. And that means they dig underground, and that's where they get their name, mole salamander. But they also have lungs, different from the lungless salamander. Now these guys mostly are going to be eating little worms underground and guys, this is only the second marbled salamander I have found in my entire life and I come here all the time looking for animals and this is the first one I've found probably in I think six to seven years, sometimes between that range and I was wondering if they were even still out here. They have two different kinds of patterns. One that will run along the body and then the more common one like what we're looking at right here with those little bands. But either way, for me, this salamander is not common. This salamander for me is super rare, guys. I look for these all the time, and it's just my area, but for me, this is a super rare salamander, just because of where I live. Look at how cute he is. That is amazing. I am so happy to find this little salamander. Now, they are super sensitive, and really, I'm amazed to find one here because of how much it floods. It floods here all the time, and, uh, I would think that these little salamanders would drown in those kinds of conditions. But, as we're seeing right now, they can actually survive flooding. This area floods heavily every year, and somehow these little guys end up surviving every time. It's amazing. Now they're mostly nocturnal. They come out mostly at night. And these little fat salamanders are very fragile. I had to stop filming for a minute and wet my hands and wash him off just to keep him safe. You guys understand that, I'm sure. I did not think we were going to find anything today, guys, but this is absolutely amazing. It's starting to rain, and we're starting to hear a lot of lightning, but it really doesn't matter because we were able to find this amazing little marbled salamander. Look how cute he is. Look how cute and fat he is. That is one of the most amazing things I have ever found, guys. Super rare, and to me, this is super, super special. This is one rare salamander for me. Now these little marbled salamanders, they're insectivorous, and that means they're mostly eating little insects and stuff under logs. One of their favorite things to eat are worms. That's one of their favorite things to eat. Little guys like this one, this little tiny one, are going to have to be finding really small worms. Really cool. Now you can see why they call them marbled salamanders. They have that marbled pattern all down their back, 
and sometimes they have a very different pattern but this is a really beautiful one this is amazing guys no joke and these are super fragile I'm having to be so careful I'm having to dump water on him constantly to keep him keep him healthy you know and that is just such an amazing little salamander he's so fat and cute very cute and super harmless if you ever see one of these guys don't worry about it it's completely safe just make sure you're very careful if you're gonna handle them well I'd say today was a huge success finding my second marbled salamander and the first one I've found in years and this is the first baby one I've actually found and it is super super cute thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you did enjoy definitely leave a like and I will see you guys next time alright I'm gonna go put him back under his log colors on them. <laughs> this one has, it actually just, it's because they're, nope, spread its wings for a second. Good grief.